In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your visors glow using Photoshop. Hello and welcome back to another toy photography tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going into Photoshop where I'm going to show you guys a really easy, cool Photoshop effect that's going to produce a glow across the visors of your various toy figures, such as Mandalorians, clone troopers, stormtroopers, anything with a visor. It doesn't even have to be a Star Wars figure. It could be the Transformer figures, um, anything with visors, eyes. This is a really cool effect that's going to add a lot of depth and story within your toy photography. So I'm going to show you guys a photo that I did earlier today. We're going to open it up in Photoshop, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this effect. So let's go. So here's the photo that I took earlier today. It's my uh, two figures from the Bad Batch. We got Hunter and Echo right here. As you can see, I already did the Echo visor right here, just for the sake to uh, make the tutorial a little bit faster. But I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do Hunter's visor right now. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to zoom in on the figure here. OK, just want to make sure I can see the lines of his visor. We're going to go ahead into our background layer, which is layer zero right here. And we're now going to then select the pen tool. You could do the object, object selection tool if you want. Uh, I think the pen tool is just a little bit more accurate for things like this. You can kind of get those harder lines and it's less cleanup later on. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to select an anchor point. So we're going to go probably right here. Let's see if we can snag the corner. So we're going to go right, probably right about there. Go down to the bottom of the visor and then now we're just going to go ahead and follow the visor line all the way across and as you can see when you use the pen tool see it's just a little bit more accurate you can kind of create that shape of the visor naturally trying then trying to just snag it all with the object selection tool but if you're more comfortable with using the object selection tool uh, go ahead and uh, do that or quick selection tool rather uh, go ahead and do that and um, it's just the same process so we're just going to go ahead we're going to select the visors we're going to keep on going going let's see go keep going just want to get the whole visor here and bam there we go so from here all we have to do is then right click make a selection hit ok boom there's our thing so now we want to do is just hit Control j Control J copies a uh, copies it as a layer. I'm go ahead and move it up. We're just going to rename this uh, Hunter Visor right there, and go ahead and deactivate this right there. And see now that the whole thing is selected. So now from here we want to make we want to select the Hunter Visor layer. We're going to go into Image Adjustments Levels, and what we're going to do is we're just going to move these blacks all the way to the white and see how it makes everything white we're going to go ahead and just click okay and now from here now we kind of want to just clean up these edges a little bit so an easy way to do that is just grab this eraser tool zoom a little bit more in grab the eraser tool again and we just go ahead and clean up the edges i like to do a hard brush 100 percent hardness and just go ahead and just clean up these edges just to make it a little bit better so that way it doesn't look it looks a little bit more natural and not so jagged so you just want to check see make sure you got some straight lines this is actually pretty good already um that's why i kind of like using the pen tool you can kind of just get it almost on the first try so from here we want to create a new layer on the bottom of hunter visor and we're going to call this hunter glow number one so from here we want to then change our brush to a soft round brush and we kind of want to select something uh, select a size that kind of goes over the edges um, of the visor you could go a little bit less um, also but you kind of just want to do something that's going to go over the edge so this will be pretty good right here, uh, probably like 
ish. Yeah. Okay. So now from here, we want to select a color. I already select red because that's kind of like the vibe I'm going, but you can do green, blue, yellow, anything you want. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and with 100% opacity, 100% flow, we're just going to go ahead and draw Okay, and we're just gonna draw. No, not draw. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm still on the eraser tool. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> there we go. We'll go brush, brush tool, change it to 32 from before. There we go. That's perfect. Soft brown brush. Bam. Red. And there we go. So now we just want to go ahead and go around the edges. You can even go on the inside. Just go around the edge of the visor right there. You want you want it to bleed over. So we'll go ahead and just follow this around. Go ahead right here. Bam. Let's go ahead and get this little spot over here in the corner. Just go a little bit smaller. And boom. And there we go. Okay, cool. So from here now, now we want to create another layer. So let's go ahead and click new layer, put this one above. So this is going to be Hunter Glow number two. Cool. So now we just will create a brush that's a little bit bigger. Probably just go like that's over the edge. So you can kind of just go bam, 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 bam. Oh, that's a little bit too big. I go like 75, 75 looks good. And we're gonna just do that same opacity flow 100%. So now we just gonna go ahead and kind of just make a brighter on the edge, just make it a little bit brighter. There we go. And boom. Perfect. So that the only thing here is we want to change these opacities of both layers. So this Hunter Glow 2 probably change about to 35%. And the Hunter Glow 1 will change it to about 75%. So now if we look back, boom, fit screen. Now look how cool that made that photo look. So this is what it looked like before. Right? Let's go ahead and deactivate these other layers too. This is what it looked like before. So once we added all those that effect, that visor effect. Boom, look at how light, look Look at the, uh, just the action. It makes a way more compelling story, it makes your figures look realistic and it's really easy to do. We did that in like two, three minutes. And um, from here, you can go ahead now, from here, you can go ahead and add some smoke like I did before, boom, smoke, and then maybe add some snow, caught in the snow, do some uh, photo adjustments and bam, and there you go. After adding all those effects in Photoshop, that's the, this is the final image uh, that I ended up with after adding all those effects. As you can see, this is a great technique that's really easy to do, and it adds a lot of depth and story within your toy photography and really helps those uh, toys look realistic. If you guys liked today's video and found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more toy photography tutorials. If you guys like to check out some more of my work, uh, toy photography or other photography, there'll be a link down in the description to my website and you guys can go check it out. Also, all the gear that I use for my YouTube channel and my photography will also be linked down in the description so you guys can go check it out. If you guys have another technique that you may have used that gives you a similar effect, and it may not have been this technique, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section so the rest of the community can go check it out. I'm Brent England with Brent England Photography. Thanks for watching. Keep taking photos and I'll see you in the next one.